two, three, finish off! My name is Taylor Scott, I'm facility coordinator and the head pro and combine coach here at D1 Sports Training in Tampa. My job basically is to be here to give you a little bit of nugget to make you better that's going to push you to the next level and really, really take your game to where you want it to be. And whatever your goal is, whether you want to make the Pro Bowl, whether you're just trying to make the squad, whether you're trying to solidify yourself as one of the dominant players of your position, I'm going to help you get to that point. Every single day we come in and we're going to grind. It doesn't matter if it's a if it's a fallback day, if it's a linear speed day, if it's agility day, um, the mentality is always going to be the same. Our mentality is to get better at what we're doing every single day and to continue pushing to that next level. Never being complacent and we've always got things to work on. I've been able to take guys that have been in, the, in a situation where they've been playing in the NFL for 13, 14 plus years to basically bring in one little nugget or one little trinket that's just going to help them be that much better to be able to stick around for another year be able to continue to play at a high level and be able to contribute to their team. If they're a younger guy that's looking to do some major things, my goal is to be able to take them to that Pro Bowl status type player. If they're looking to be able to, uh, if they're a combine player that's coming out for the draft, my goal is to put them up one or two rounds just with a show out. Whatever people thought they were, we're gonna show them that plus a little more because it's about winning day to day to day. Guys understand that when we win football games or we win any games in any sports, we win those games in the off season. The season all it does is consist of producing what we've already done throughout the, throughout the off season. We win games, we make the Pro Bowl. I tell my guys all the time, we make the Pro Bowl in the off season, that's it. Whether that be with how hard we train, the conditioning that we put ourselves into, the speed that we gain, being able to concentrate on small things like hamstring recruitment and hip flexion, flexibility, being able to drive out, of, out from a zero start, um, anything like that, we put all those things together and those, all those things produce to make wins. Obviously what's, what's you know, great about this place is you know, we have everything with, with, the, uh, with the physical therapy, with the, uh, with the training, with the uh, doctors on staff, ART, um, massage theory, therapy, chiropractic care, food, supplements, everything is right here for them in house and these guys just know, I mean, this is their camp. I mean, this is their off-season camp and um, what I try to provide is an, an environment to where we're gonna make it hard in here so it's easy out there. Um, I try to provide um, controlled chaos where there's a method to the madness of everything that we do. The cycle, the goal has been to get strength, power, and explosiveness, right? The next one is gonna be starting to get you maintenance for camp. It's gonna be more conditioning, more speed work, and more fast twitch stuff to get you ready to go because what we wanna be able to do is I wanna get that strength and power in you first so you can first learn how to generate so much force on the ground. Now the next, the next one's gonna be more hip maintenance, more hamstring maintenance, so we can keep your body healthy and your body can adapt and keep up with all that power that we generated in the first cycle. Right, so don't just get stuck right here, which is kind of what you know, we were talking about the other day, right? Keep your hips in alignment, keep that chest out. Watch how I'm just gonna push my hips forward right out the gate. Sit back. step back and then he went, right? That's what this drill is trying to get us out of, right? We gotta be able to stick, have a great sense of balance, a nice forward lean under control, and then push. Good work, man. good work, come on. Yeah. So sit back, lock in, and drive and think hips first. Hips first, straight from your heels. Push. Feet in, feet out, as quick as we can go, as quick as we can go. Keeping those adductors tight, keeping your core tight, all the way through your hips and so as, all right? Then we're gonna drive it through five yards and then we're gonna power skip for distance. Guys, when we power skip for distance, I've gotta see that forward lean, all right? We've gotta have those shoulders up with our toes and every single amount of energy that we put in the ground is driving us out, all right? Here we go, here we go, ready. Drive, drive, drive. Back through, back power through. There we go, there we go. Nice work, nice work. Nice. Nice, Greg. Much better, much better, much better. Nice, finish. When I drive.
Push, 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 push. Everything we're doing right now is geared towards conditioning, right? When we go to camp, you're not going to see anything that you haven't already seen, all right? That's the goal, okay? Camp is going to be easy. Everything is here under one roof. We have a practice of sports medicine physicians. We encompass spine, sports, and we have a surgery center. The surgery center is in the back. We can do all of our surgery procedures here. We have a full range of physical therapy with some of the best sports medicine therapists that I've ever seen. So my job is to, one, make sure he gets better, two, protect him, and three, get him back to his sport, which is where a lot of places fail. To make you that wide receiver again, to make you that running back again, you're getting the treatment as a D1 athlete from the doctors to the therapists to the trainers. And that's what I really had as the dream and the vision. That vision was put forth in the D1 mantra back in Nashville, Tennessee, and we've carried it here in Tampa. Uh, if I work out by myself, you know, I'm, I'm a hard worker, and I'm a, a big self, self-talk guy. You know, if I'm working out by myself, I can convince myself that this is going to make me better, so I need to, I need to go harder, uh, thinking about what the next man is doing to, to push myself. But here, to actually have that person physically here, I, I feel like it's an honor. And I can use, you know, Lance Moore uh, as an example. Uh, I played against him uh, a time or two, and to, to be able to train with that guy, you know, I know I'm getting better, you know. Uh, instead of, you know, me working out by myself and visualizing what he's doing, and trying to you know outwork him, and I can I can be here and try to do it. It's about you coming and being around a great group of, group of guys, and and, and, and bettering yourself, and uh, having uh, someone to, to push you. You know, I, I had the luxury of playing with Taylor uh, in, in the Canadian Football League, and you know I think that sticks out about Taylor is his work ethic. You know where I'm at in my career, I felt like you know he he can help you know get, get the best out of me in, in my six year career. A lot of time as a pro. Not that you get complacent, but you get uh, used to a certain style of doing things. And, you know, Taylor does a great job of mixing that up, you know, making you uh, push to your limit and, and just keep getting better as if, you know, we're, we were just starting out again. Um, you know, I feel like I'm getting faster. I feel like I'm getting quicker. I'm, you know, my explosion is back up. And, you know, the thing about Taylor is whatever you have in you, he's going to work to try to maximize that and, and keep you at that level. And um, at this point in my career, you know, in my prime, it's what I needed. And, uh, uh, the biggest benefit just coming down here is, is, is having somebody that's going to push you. I mean, a guy that's, that's been there and done that, that's played the game of football, um, that, that knows uh, how to get guys in shape, knows how to push guys, get guys stronger. Um, you know, I mean, he's a, he's a perfect example of somebody that's worked hard to get to where he is. Um, getting a chance to, to, to train with somebody um, instead of training myself, which I've done the last eight or nine years since I've been in the NFL. Um, it's a nice change of pace for me. Uh, obviously, I'm getting toward the latter part of my career and, and having somebody to be able to push me and, and guys to work against that are pushing me as well is something that I need. Ever since I've been down here uh, in 2012, was at the end of 2012, um, I like what he had to offer. He challenged me every single day. He gave me something new that I've never done before, and he made me work as hard as, I've, as hard as I ever have. But uh, being down here and having somebody oversee everything that we do, every movement that we do, making sure that we're doing it correctly, making sure we're working as hard as we can, uh, it just pushed me to that next level and it made my career um, grow that much more. His, his, his program as an entirety um, has definitely helped me. Um, not only are we getting the field work in, the agility, the speed training, the conditioning, but we're also doing it in the weight room. And we're not only building mass, we're building, we're building speed in the weight room, we're building uh, function, we're being, building flexibility, and I never had that type of training before, and that's definitely helped me. You can just see the growth, you can see the growth within our group, you can see the growth within individuals, uh, where they used to be to where they are now, and uh, I love it, man, it's a grind, you gotta love the grind. From day one, man, it, we just got after it, straight work. Taylor, Taylor he's, a, he's a pretty intense guy, and. Uh, for someone to tell you to do something and then they can demonstrate it, it makes it a lot easier. So, I mean, it's an easy transition from watching and actually doing it because he's demonstrating everything for you. One of the best benefits is uh, being a professional athlete is having doing maintenance on your body after you work out, after a hard days of work and they have the treatment and, and therapy and anything you want to get worked on. I mean, if, if you want to get better, if you want to work hard, you want to have fun and uh, get after every day, then this the place to be. I was just uh, taken back by how uh, passionate he is about you know uh, training and, and how much pride he takes in, in what he does because uh, the atmosphere he sets for us is is just out of the ordinary like it's nowhere I've ever been where a guy's you know so helpful in uh, in his training and it's not just 
physically, it's mentally too. He makes you really think about every muscle that you're recruiting. I mean, I've definitely been a lot more explosive since I've spent time here. Um, that, that's the biggest difference, I think, strength and explosiveness. And it's something that he preaches every day. As a, specifically as a football player, you know, you have to be explosive off the line. When you have, you know, DBs trying to jam you up, you have to make that separation to be able to catch those balls. He's always positive, and, and that's always something that you need. That reinforcement that what you're doing is paying off. And uh, he makes sure that he, he tells you, takes you to the side, and explains, you know, what, what you need to work on more and, and how that's going to benefit you. My name is Clifton Smith, former Tampa Bay Buccaneer, number 22, former Pro Bowler. Uh, play for Saskatchewan Rough Riders now, and uh, the biggest benefit of, is, you know, being more explosive in everything that I do, and having a, tra a trainer like Taylor that's going to push me, push me to the point where I want to pass out every time I go home, and uh, have, having a, a group, a great group of guys that's going to push me to the point where I want to do better, I want to be better. They're at, they're in a, they're in a position where I want to be at, where I want to work myself back to. So. That is a great benefit to be. Well, I think that's very important. You know, you can come in, you have the little, you know, rehab center, you know, on each side, you know, just, you know, surgical center and whatever. And um, then you have over here, you know, just, you know, as far as, you know, get recovery, you know, getting heat, you know, stretching before, you know, before you're training. And then when you're done training, you go and get stressed out again. And, uh, you know, recovery is most important, I feel like. And then just taking care of your body, you know, that's most important. I'm um, learning a lot about my body and a lot about my technique and my running, you know, that I didn't know before. And Taylor's, you know, he watches and he breaks down everything that you need and, um, you know, it's making a lot of sense. It's just small stuff I never knew about myself before, but, you know, he, first time running, he picked up on it like that, you know, and that's, that's perfect. It's what I need. The biggest difference is, to be honest with you, how hard I've been pushed. The most beneficial thing for me as an athlete, I think, is the group environment, having other guys to feed off of and having a trailer like Taylor Scott that's been through what we've been through before, um, understands the grind of a full season and knows how to get prepared for that. My name is Craig Montgomery. I was a long snapper at Georgetown University from 2009 to 2012. Uh, I came here about four months ago and I uh, went to the Super Regional Combine in Tampa Bay. Uh, personal record on every single one of the uh, Combine measurables. My snap speed was the best it's ever been and so I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Super Regional coming up next week. My goal was to put on weight, which already to this date I put on 13 pounds, yeah. and I still have too much left, so I'm looking to put on maybe a little bit more. Hit my bench, okay, uh, probably went from say 265, I could probably put up 295 right now. Hit my power cleans, I mean I came in, I was probably hitting 235, the other day I hit 275 for three. Uh, squats, I'm almost at 400, so that's good too. Yeah, when I went to work out uh, with Atlanta, I didn't expect them to work actually have me running full ease and doing defensive back drills and things of that nature. So when I went, I was prepared for it. Even though they caught me off guard, uh, I was still prepared for it, and I kind of blew it out the water. And one of the things that they said to me was, I could clearly see that you've been working out. So it was a good decision coming here. First week here, it was with you guys here, and um, no one really heard of me. I was really underrated, so I always have to prove myself. I came in here and, and really just beat the odds. Um, a guy that had to work for every single thing he's ever gotten, and um, he's getting ready to sign his first ever professional football contract with the Montreal Alouettes. Taylor guided me as a, you know, inspirational leader and also I would say like more of a, an agent. You know, he definitely looked out for me in every single situation on trying to get my name out there. And that's more than I can ask for anybody because I never got that help since I was in high school, going to college, coming out of college, you know. Taylor was there and he picked me up. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, 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 congrats, baby. Good work, man. Good session. It's a new beginnings, man. Keep working. That's it. Salutations. <laughs>